Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm looking for some people to pop in here so I'm not all by myself. And then I need to ask a few questions. Here comes Karen. Karen, you're the first one on tonight and April's here. Happy Sunday, you guys. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Terry's here. I hope you guys have had a good week. Angie, welcome. I have some really fun cards to share with you tonight. I'm going to plug my phone in so there's me just a little wiggle there. Hi, Francie. So, um, can you guys hear me okay? Is there a lot of background noise going on? Can you let me know? Because I've got um, a, a portable air conditioning unit <laughs> in my office. Yeah. So we finally broke down and turned on our central air. Hang on, I'm trying to mute my computer. We finally broke down and turned on our central air this last week and um, it's not working very good. <laughs> so we shut it off. And I think I told you guys that about a couple weeks ago I went and bought one of those portable air conditioners. And so I got that propped up on a chair so it will reach the window for the exhaust hose. And it's kind of loud, so I need to know from you guys if there's too much noise, should I turn it off? How is my sound? I guess that's what I need to know. There's background noise, but you can hear. Okay, because I know, because I have a loud mouth. <laughs> I will never deny that I am loud. <laughs> Okay, so if anybody is having problems with that noise, just a little bit of background noise. Okay, thank you guys so much. I'm going to bring you up on my screen so once I turn you around, I can um, see your comments. Hang on just a second here. Here we go. I just went outside. Um, people are just leaving from our Sunday fun day, so the kids are picking up all the pool toys and the parents are cleaning up all the food. We had some wonderful food today. Um, some friends, Denise and Sarah, cooked chicken. Two different kinds of chicken. It's a Mexican type thing. And we had it in tortillas. And oh my gosh, there was a fruit platter. And taco dip. And homemade guacamole. And chips. And homemade chip dip. And oh, so delicious. I love that. And I had told Steve yesterday, I'm like, why don't we just order pizzas tomorrow? I don't feel like making anything. He didn't seem too interested to make anything. But then those guys, those ladies, um, volunteered to bring the chicken. And oh, it was so delicious. So thank you guys for the birthday wishes. Holy cow, did I get a lot of birthday wishes. They're always appreciated. Turning 55 has been fabulous. Oh, I just realized I don't have my light on. Hang on a second. I thought I was all ready to go here, and then I don't have my light on. And then I went to put my earrings on. Look at this. So there's supposed to be a little, um, like, shell type thing in the middle of my flower, and I noticed that it's missing. So this will be the last time I wear these earrings unless I find that little, sh oh, here's the front, that little shell thing and can get it glued back in there. I'm sad because I've had these for a long time and I love them. <laughs> Sue says pizza always works. You darn right it does, right? Yeah. So anyways, um, what's been happening? Uh, my door keeps opening back here. See this? My door, every time I step on the floor, my door opens. So I need to get Steve in here. I could look at it, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> they need to feel useful too, right? I'm going to get Steve in here and fix it. But yes, my birthday was great. We went out to lunch and had a wonderful time. And um, what else? What else can I tell you guys? I don't have any updates on John. So here's the deal. We brought my summer home home and it is parked in the driveway. And so it blocks our view of John and his house. So I don't know what's happening with John lately. <laughs> But I've had lots of people inquire about it. So is anybody else having problems freezing up? I don't see anything going on on my screen over here. It might be your internet tonight, and I'm sorry about that. But anyways, I have no John news. Val is doing fantastic. She's smiling and smiling. Oh, yeah, I could put an embellishment on my earring. 
But I'd have to do the same thing over here. I don't know. I'll figure out something. I really like these. They're kind of unique, right? I've had them for a very long time. <laughs> Terry said she loves Steve all dressed up. I know. I love Snapchat filters. Like, I have so much fun with them. Um, I had Molly overnight on, I think, Friday night, and we did a sleepover in the camper, so that was really fun. And she was working for me. Oh my gosh, she made, she embossed 48 layers for my technique club, so that was really cool. Haley said there's no freezing on her end. Okay, so I think it was your internet. I can't even remember who posted that they were freezing up, so that's not good for you, but I'm glad it's not trouble on this end that everybody's having, right? Yeah, what else? I don't know. I don't even know what to say. There hasn't been a lot going on here. Did I get a ton of birthday cards and some gifts? Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at this. Look at this. This is all my birthday cards and presents. And I, As long as I've got this up here, I have to show this to you. Look at this. And let's see, who made this? Mm, I don't see the envelope. Oh my gosh, now I'm going to be terrible. Was it Erline, maybe? I don't know. Oh, you know what? I threw the box away. Ah, oh, now I feel really horrible. So, whoever made this, we got the biggest chuckle out of it. We put it on the baby today and took pictures. You tell me who you were so I can give you credit for this cute, this is for Val. It's a tiny little tiara with all kinds of mermaids on it and it's just the sweetest thing ever. Holy cow. So yeah, we, um, I've got a lot of things to show you and I'm going to do that at the end tonight. I don't think I'm going to be able to show them all to you because there's a ton, but there's all of them are beautiful and so thoughtful and thank you again you guys whether you gave me a message on Facebook or whether you sent me a card thank you so much it, I just felt like I was the most special person in the world on July 7th <laughs> yeah so I have some winners from our Facebook live last week now don't forget that when you there's three ways you get entered to win in my drawings and um, Debbie's going to be going to their summer home tomorrow. Good for you. Um, three ways to win. One is to leave a comment. So if you're new to me, make sure you leave at least one comment on here. You can just say, hi, Kelly, or you can say, um, hi, from Missouri, or whatever. Make sure you leave one comment because you'll get entered to, in a drawing. The other way is to click on that share button right now. And there's a share button on your screen someplace. You can click on that and share my video. And that really helps me grow my business and get my videos out to more people. And I so appreciate that. And the third way is to place an order. So comment, share, order, three different drawings. And I have some of the gold faceted gems that I'm giving away for a comment last week. And our winner was Marilyn and I know I'm not going to say your name right, Curbis, K-U-E-R-B-I-S-S, -S, from Lake Havasu City, Arizona. You are the winner for your comment. Thank you very much. I do have your address, Marilyn, so I will get this off in the mail. Watch for this cute little envelope coming your way. And then for sharing the video last week, I have some of the copper dotted treat bags to give away. These are so fun. Um, my winner is Kim Crane, C-R-A-N-E from Oakley, Michigan. Kim, I do not have your address. If you could please send that to me in a private message or um, email it to me at kelly at a stamp above.com so I can get your prize out to you. That would be fabulous. Last but not least for placing an order last week, I have Alice Martinez from Matawan, New Jersey. You are going to get the gang's all mirror stamp set. So, um, and I looked up Alice's account to make sure she didn't have this already, and she doesn't. So that was good news. So I will have two of the three out in the mail tomorrow, and if I hear from Kim, 
I will be able to get her prize out in the mail tomorrow also. The other thing I wanted to let you guys know is I have, let me grab these. I have Haley made some more DSP samplers for me. So if you're familiar with the DSP samplers and you were not able to get in on ordering them, I am going to have eight more. Um, I should say seven because one is already counted for. If you would like one of those, please pop me an email. It's a whole kit that has all the designer series paper in it. And um, I will send you a PayPal invoice. They're $25. We will, I will be doing this again for the holiday mini catalog. So keep that in mind if you would like to get a hold of those. I will also um, have those coming up soon. I need to get all of the information together and the PayPal links in and all the things, right? All the things that happen behind the scenes. But um, I will be doing that for the holiday mini catalog. And we actually have one more pack of designer series paper in the holiday mini catalog than we have in the entire annual catalog. Oh my gosh, right? That's exciting news. Now, for those of you that may be new, um, everybody that places at least a $50 order with me in the last six months gets a copy of this new holiday mini catalog. And um, if you haven't placed an order with me or you're not sure if your order total would be $50 or more, and let me explain that a little bit. So what I do is I have a sort feature in my customer list and I go in there and say from January to July is my time frame and then I put in a $50 total and then everybody comes up on my list and I have Stampin' Up! send them the mini catalog and we have to pay for these so um, I don't want to put my entire customer list in there because I have people who haven't ordered from me in years but I never delete them right so that's just the way that I sort this that doesn't mean that I don't want you to have a mini catalog if you would like one and you didn't place an order in the last six months so just so you know it's just a way for me to sort and do this easily. If you would like a mini catalog and you're you know, sure you're not already on my mailing list, pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and I would be happy to send you one. What else do we have going on? Um, let's see, bonus days are in full swing. And what that means is that for every $50 before tax and shipping that you order now during the month of July, you will get a bonus coupon code from Stampin' Up for $5 off your order in August. Yay, and I think that starts August 4th that you can start redeeming those bonus coupon codes. And Sue says she was wondering if she would get the catalog when her order arrives this week. Sue, if you have placed an order with me, um, the catalog does not come automatically. So if you could request, hey Kelly, can you please send me the holiday catalog? I would be happy to do that. Just pop me an email, kelly at stampabove.com, and I can do that. But they don't send out catalogs with the orders because they don't know who's already got catalogs, who I've chosen to get catalogs, you know, so they don't want to be sending out doubles and triplicates of those catalogs because I'm sure they're not cheap. I mean, like I said, we pay for them. How am I doing towards my million? I just checked today and I am less than $500 away from hitting the next $10,000 increment, you guys. Once I hit that next $10,000 increment, I have $10,000 to go in sales. So exciting, right? I'm just so excited about that. Okay, what else can I tell you? Um, I've got two really pretty fun, fun folds for you that I'm going to be sharing and showing you how to make tonight. I made up a template for one of them, um, and we'll talk about that a little bit when we get going here. And I'm just looking at all the comments to see what's happening. And I think we're good to go. Let's see, which card do I want to make first? I think I want to do the one with the glimmer paper. Oh, before I go too far, I did make up some extra of the Nothing's Better Than kit class for June. Yes, June. So here's what it looks like. You get eight pre-cut, punched, 
cardstock or cardstock packs for eight cards in here. Four different cards. You get to make two of each. You get a half a pack of the Brights Designer Series paper. You get to try out our new seal adhesive. So you get the seal adhesive and the dispenser. I'm including two mini paper pumpkin boxes, a pack of the new Melon Mambo Stampin' Blends, and also a roll of um, the Crinkled Seam Binding, which is right here. I've got this kit put together, but I'm waiting for my order to come with more seam binding in it because I kind of ran out of seam binding. But I have an order coming in tomorrow that's going to have all of this stuff in it. Now, if you want, you can add on the stamp set and the dies that go with the nothing, nothing's better than. And if you are interested in that, again, you'll find all the information on my blog. In the right-hand column, there is an online class tab, or you can email me. Any way we can purchase the PDF for the nothing's better than. Um, Mary, I will put that PDF up available once I run out of kits. Otherwise, I'm not selling the PDF individually. So just make sure you kind of check into my online class and you'll, you'll see that when that happens. There'll be a um, PDF buy now button there, but not until all of my kits are gone. And Linda says she's been working on the class all weekend. Good for you, Linda. That's awesome. I love to hear that. Let me put these back here so I don't lose them. We are going to be playing with the Rainbow Glimmer paper tonight. And can I just say that I absolutely love this paper. One of the things I love about it, besides how gorgeous it is, is the fact that there's no shedding. The glitter does not come off the paper. So if that's been a problem for you with glitter paper in the past, you will absolutely love this stuff. Now, I wanted to, oh, let me unpack all this stuff and then I'll show you. I've got two additional cards using this fun fold that I can show you. One of them is ancient and I just happened to find it in all of my old stamping stuff. And the other one is new and it was given to me by one of my team members. So I'll share that with you and then I made a couple more color variations because you know I like to do that, right? We are going to be using the hand-drawn blooms. I'm going to flip my camera around so you can see this. Oh, Susan says great kits. Thank you so much. Mary Lynn is asking if the Artistry Bloom kit has mailed out yet. The Artistry Bloom supplies, like all the cardstock for me to cut the pre-cut cardstock packs, will be coming to me tomorrow. And I will start working on those. I get the order in from Stampin' Up. I'll start working on getting those cut and sorted and packaged up. If you ordered the entire bundle from me um, with the stamp set, the uh, designer series paper, the rainbow glimmer paper, the artistry bloom sequins, and the crinkled seam binding, if you ordered that whole thing from me, it has been ordered for you. It'll come directly from Stamp It Up to you. The cost for that whole bundle of product is $102. If you order that from me, you get the online class and the pre-cut cardstock pack. One of these, like one of these, all cut up for you for free. Otherwise, you can order the pre-cut cardstock pack and the online class for $35. Or you can order just the online class. If you're global, this is a great option for you too, meaning you're outside of the United States. You can order the PDF for only $20. So, yay! Uh... I don't know, Deb just asked Kathy Sanford a question, but I missed Kathy's question, so I'm really sorry. Uh, this particular Artistry Blooms class is the class that I do with Dina and Barb Susan. So my cards are not different than theirs. We all collaborate, we each make a third of the cards and we put it all together in one big class. So if you've ordered from my friends Dina or Barb, this is the same class, you don't wanna order this again. So, good question, and thank you for reminding me of that. Okay, I'm gonna flip us around now. <laughs> Linda says, order it because the cards are stunning. They are really pretty, you guys. And I'm gonna show you a couple other pretty cards tonight to use with your hand-drawn blooms. And what is the dies called? The banner blooms, this one. 
I have had a blast with this. Okay, close your eyes if you get motion sickness. We're going to turn this camera around. And did you guys want to see my air conditioning unit? There it is, right there. And it's going up to the window to the exhaust up there. <laughs> and let me tell you, it works like I'm cold right now. So it works really, really good. All right, remember you can always find my blog. This is my creative website. You can always find my blog at www.stampabub.com. If you plan on placing an order with me, I always appreciate your orders. This is my current host code. And before you close your order, you'll be asked for a host code. This is it. You can just come back to this video or you can go to my blog. It's shown in the right-hand column at all times. You'll find current host code. Don't use this code if your order is over $150 because you're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I want you to have those. But if your order is under $150, you don't get the rewards and then that helps me out so I can order door prizes to give away to you guys. Okay, we are going to get going here. Oh my gosh, this is just so, so, so pretty. I'm so excited to be showing this to you guys. So we're using the hand-drawn blooms and then we are using the banner blooms dies. And you guys have seen me use these before. This is one my one of my online classes I have available. And this is just gonna be an additional card idea to go with this whole suite of products. Hang on, I've got something popping up on my screen right now. Um, Dina's working on her taxes, so she's been asking tax questions, which is kind of funny. I just got my taxes done. And can I just say that the amount of taxes I have to pay in are much less than anticipated so we did a little celebrating this week and by celebrating I mean we just danced around and went woohoo <laughs> that, that was our celebrating this week so but it was pretty sweet because I really didn't know what was going to happen with taxes this year okay first things first we have a piece of crumb cake and it's funny because Haley was over here today and she, I was kind of asking her, what do you think? What color card base should I use? And she's like, you should use something kind of neutral. So this card, these cards that I'm gonna show you, well, this card that I'm gonna show you tonight, Haley and I kind of worked on together. She was doing the DSP samplers, but I was asking her, what do you think about this? And what do you think about that? So this is a collaboration card that we both kind of came up with. So crumb cake, four and a quarter by 11. Then I've got a quarter sheet of our gorgeous grape, and this is four and a quarter by five and a half, just like I said, a quarter sheet. Then I've got the rainbow glimmer paper, and I've got two strips. Both of these are seven eighths inch wide by four, no, no, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Five eighths inch wide by four and a quarter, so you need two of those. This piece is two and five eighths by four and three eighths. And please remember that all of these dimensions and still shots, still photos of the cards that I'm making tonight can be found tomorrow or maybe later tonight. It depends on whether I can get them loaded up or not. On my blog, so you can always go there and see still photos because sometimes I know that your internet quality isn't that great. Maybe it's further away from here to here. You know, did that just freak you guys out? I'm sorry. I don't I don't want to make anybody sick. But sometimes it's a little further. You'd like a little closer look. You can always find photos on my blog of these projects, um, just so you know. Okay, then I have a scrap of Whisper White, and then I've got a little piece of Coastal Cabana. And this piece is 7 eighths by 4 and an eighth. First thing we're going to do here is we're going to take our um, card base, and I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer. We need to open up the arm on this. And then I have a template that I'm going to show you. I'll also post a picture of this template on my blog so that you can see it. But it's right here. You guys know that when this Facebook Live is done, you can go watch it again and you can fast forward, rewind, and pause it so you can stop it on certain things that you want to see. I, I just want you to make sure that you know that. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to put our cardstock in here 
and I need it to be three quarters of an inch. So we're gonna do some cutting at three quarters of an inch. You're gonna start that, whoops, that's my score. You're gonna start that at one inch. So I'm gonna stand up here, and here we are at one inch. I'm gonna push down, and we're gonna go all the way down to six and a half. Okay, so I just push it right down here to six and a half. Now we're gonna pick this up, we're gonna turn it over and do the exact same thing on the other side. And this is, again, one inch. Oops, hang on, there we go. One inch down to six and a half. So now we have two slits here, okay? Stay with me. This seems really complicated, but it's not. And if you take and make a template like this so you know what's going on, it's so much easier for you to make one of these. Or you can just look at mine. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this end down here that we put the slits on. We are going to score at one inch. We're only gonna score this outside piece that we cut, okay? Hang on a second, let me make sure that I know what I'm doing here. Yes, okay, so we're gonna score from the edge to the one inch, and we're gonna come over here. Now, I didn't push down in the middle here, I just moved my score blade. And we're gonna score right here. Do you see what I'm talking about? Score line to the cut, the slit that we made, score line to the slit at one inch in. We're gonna do the same thing at two inches. Same exact thing, score that outside panel, push it over here, score that outside panel, and there we go. We've got a score line here and here, here and here. Now, we're gonna slide this all the way down to five and a half inches, and that's where we're gonna score the middle panel, not the outside pieces, just the middle. So I'm going to score that. So now we have a score line from here to here, okay? And now we're gonna push it into six, and a half inches. So I've got six and a half down here and we're gonna score those outside panels again. So up to the slit and you can pick this up and move it if you want, but I'm not pressing it down when I'm moving it like this. I'm not pressing it so it's not scoring. It's only scoring where I'm pressing it. Okay, so now we have score line here, 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 and here. Now let's see what we do with that. What are you guys drinking tonight? You know what I've got here, it's just my strawberry lemonade. Oh, and Blaine Barb says that she'll have to watch the replay. You must be freezing up tonight. I'm so sorry, that's so frustrating. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this outside middle one and we're gonna push it down like this, okay? Now we're gonna pull this one up. Okay, so down, up. Well, I should say they're all going up really, just like this. Okay, and now we're going to take this and you're going to push it down, push this one down, fold it like that. This is what you have. Does that make sense? You guys want me to show you that again? Pull the middle panel up and fold it like this. This one goes up, this one goes up. This one goes down and that one's up. So we've got peaks and valleys. Now what I like to do is I like to come in here with my bone folder and get everything nice and crisp, burnish those edges good. And this is what we have. This is called a center step card. That was the hardest part. And again, I will have pictures of this on there. It shows that you cut from from one inch to six and a half on both sides, three quarters of an inch in. Score at one inch, one inch, two inch, two inch, five and a half in the middle, six and a half, six and a half. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, I hear from time to time some of you that are like, oh my gosh, I am not that good of a stamper. I can't do that. Let's think about this a little bit. This is just a piece of paper. Give it a try. You will dazzle your friends and family with something like this, because this is pretty fancy. You saw how easy it was. It's just paper. Give it a whirl. 
Rewind, watch it again. Rewind, watch it again. I do that for every single step when I find something in a video. I rewind and watch, rewind and watch. You can do this. I give you the power to do this. <laughs> okay, next thing we're gonna do here, where'd all my pieces go? Right here. We are going to take the gorgeous grape and this big floral image. We're going to run this through our die cutting machine. And here's the white. Once we get this die cut, we're gonna take our die and I've just got a scrap of white here that's gonna cut out these banners. We're gonna run that through the die cutting machine. And of course, you guys know how magical I am. I have already done it. <laughs> and here's our banners. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the greenery embossing folder. Now, this embossing folder comes in a pack with these pretty little flowers, flowers here, flowers there, or spriggy leaves or whatever you want to call it, and then this pattern. Okay, so you get both of these when you buy the greenery embossing folders. We're going to take this little piece, this was our 7 eighths by 4 and an eighth, we're going to run it through this one, and... Here comes my magic again. I have already done it. <laughs> I like to be magic. I feel like a unicorn sometimes, right? Okay, no, I'm not a unicorn. Now, first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to take our banner. Now our banner, you need to make sure that you've got it the same way as the one that's on here, right? Before I had it upside down, that's not gonna work. We wanna make sure that it matches up with the banner here. I'm going to grab my Coastal Cabana ink and the stamp from the hand-drawn blooms that says, so grateful to have a friend like you. I love this saying because it's very universal. I can put a thank you inside. I can put um, a happy birthday. I can put a miss you, anything you want. It's just very universal. I'm going to stand up. We're going to stamp this on our banner. Oh, look how pretty that is. And now we need to do just a tiny bit of fussy cutting. And you've seen me do this before. Let me get this ribbon out of the way. It's bugging me. You've seen me do this before with these banners where you just now trim right along the line. You also saw me screw one up, I believe. Oh, that was in my online class. You get When you watch my online classes, you get real stamping with Kelly because I totally cut off the end of this banner in one of my um, online class videos and we got to do it again and we laughed and laughed. Well, I laughed, you guys might laugh at me when you watch it, but it was pretty amusing because I chopped that baby right off just like it didn't belong there and then couldn't figure out what was going on. So yeah, I'm just trimming right along the edge here of the little bits that are gone and then I'm going to Give this. Now, I've got some little choppy areas right here. I don't like that. That's really going to show up against that purple, right? So I'm just going to trim them. Here's another little bit that's kind of choppy. I don't like that. Just trimming it up a little bit. There we go. So we've got one. Here comes the next one. Claudia's drinking Diet Bago Rock and Rye. That was a blast from the past. Do you guys remember Thago Soda? I think that's what you're talking about, aren't you? That's been around forever. So, funny little story. Yesterday, when we went to put everything away, the kids had come over with kids, and everybody was outside by the pool. It was very hot here yesterday. Um, we found a full can of root beer sitting out by the swing set, and a full little mini can of um, the Sun Kiss soda and Steve said something about you know we should really think about buying those little cans of soda so that when the kids leave them lay like that you're not wasting so much and I said well you can look at those but I'll bet you anything it costs more to buy those little cans than it does to buy full-size cans sure enough he got up and went to the store this morning and he said uh, I hate to tell you this but you were right and of course he hated to tell me who wants to admit they were wrong but I was right, you get a 10 pack of the little cans, they cost 50 cents more than a 12 pack of
of the big cans. So, it's all about the novelty and how cute the little cans are, right? Yeah, but we're not dumb. And math is hard, but we figured it out. Okay, so this piece is going to go right down there on that front panel. This piece is going to go, I'm just going to turn it this way because I cut the side pieces off the same layer and I wanted this to go a certain way. And of course you can take a look at yours and decide what you want to do there. There we go. And then we've got these two little pieces. I'm going to turn these around. Oh, I'm going to turn them around like this. I actually wanted that to be the other way. Nope, I'm going to leave it. It's going to be fine. Nope, I'm going to pull it off. We'll see. Let's see if I can get it off. Nope, I'm going to leave it. I wanted the um, sides to kind of go in the same color. So, see what I mean? The green and then the blue. But I, I should have glued this the other way. And it's going to be fine. Nobody else is going to know that except me. So, remember, when you make little mistakes like this, do not make yourself crazy with them because you're the only one most of the time that even knows that you had a different idea. Just remember that the people you're giving the cards to, they had no idea that I wanted this all to kind of be an ombre together with the side and the middle. I don't even know if you guys, I think you get what I mean. We're kind of weird like that, aren't we? We get this idea in our head and then it's like, oh, there we go. So those little pieces go on the sides. Here's what we have so far. And now we're going to take this piece and we're going to glue the banners on. And you glue them right over the banner that's on the floral image here. Die or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I got that going on. Now I'm gonna grab some baby dimensionals. I wanna pop this up, and this really looks cool when it's raised up. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals where I can on the back. Some of these, you know, like some of this is too skinny, and putting dimensionals on there is really hard, so I kinda cut these to make them fit. I took my scissors and I cut some little bits and pieces just so I could get some dimensionals on here. If you want to, you can pull these off. Can I get that one off? Yep. Pull these off right away. Where's my poking tool? Oh, Tanya says she loves this card, and I'm sure other people did too. But um, that's the, the message that I can see up here on my screen right now. Thank you so much. I love it because it's really bright and pretty. And it just makes me happy. So here comes another little tiny piece. And I'm just going to put that right here. I don't want to see it on the front, right? So I'm just putting little slivers around. Where else can I put one? Oh, I see a place. Let's put one right over... Oh, that might go off the edge. You don't you don't want you want to make sure these don't go off the edge. How about one right there? Okay. I think we're ready to rock here. This one is the only one. Is the only one I didn't take the backing off of. Yep, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna put this. See what I mean? about I didn't want to put dimensionals over here too far or over here because this doesn't touch and stick to that. But what, do you, what do you guys think of that? Isn't it so spectacular? Ugh. And then I forgot the wink again. Haley said, don't forget the wink. And I forgot the wink. I'm, we should have done this before we put this together, but I'm just gonna come in here and I'm gonna color some Wink of Stella on some of these flowers. This was Haley's idea. She goes, oh, you should do Wink of Stella on those flowers. I'm like, oh, that's a great idea. Put that little bit of glimmer in there. Super, super pretty. I'm just gonna put some up here on this flower. And you can color all of them if you want or just a few. It's completely up to you. There we go. Got some more glitz and glimmer going on here. Okay, we're not done yet. 
because now I'm going to close the sink pad up. I am going to bring in my bow jig. And one of the things I love about my bow jig is the ability to make triple bows. So I'm going to take this and go around three times, just like that. And then I'm gonna tie my bow just like I normally would. I do have a video for this. I don't make these. We do not sell them. Please don't link to anybody who sells them. Um, you can make these yourself. It's nothing more than a piece of wood with some holes drilled in it. That's it, you guys. That's, this is how simple this is. So look at how the triple bow, it's just more substantial on the sides here. And you can pull it apart if you want. I'm gonna take a mini glue dot and Connie, Connie says, oh my gosh, that card is amazing. Connie sent me a um, fruit bouquet this week and we just finished it up yesterday, Connie. It was so delicious and so sweet of you to do that. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do some of these Artistry Bloom sequins. Now these are part of the sequins that come in the whole suite of products. So basically it's the Artistry Blooms suite with the ribbon included in it. And you have the option for my online class to add an extra pack of the Rainbow Glimmer paper. That's completely your choice. But when you order this whole thing from me, you get my online class for free. And the pre-cut cardstock packs should be coming out this week. Like I said, my order is supposed to come tomorrow. And I will be um, getting those cut as soon as possible and out in the mail. Let's see, do I want to do, I think I'll do a red one over here. These are so fun. Who doesn't love self-adhesive sequins? And I think I'll just go right there. And there is our beautiful center step card. That's what we call these. Now, if you want to, you could put a panel on the back here to write on, or you could just write on the back. Um, you could write on the inside. You could put a panel on the inside, whatever you would like. This is as far as I'm gonna go with this card. Again, I'll make sure that I put this um, picture on my blog so you can see the dimensions and everything. Then I wanted to show you the other one that I made. So hang tight, let me get this out of the way. Oops, I got this sliding around. My Amish tape isn't holding very good. <laughs> I know you guys love that. This is the other one that I made. And for this particular card, you can see that I used the glimmer paper right here. For this card, I used the glimmer paper right here. So it, it, um, we have that ombre effect from yellow to orange to pink to purple. There you go. We've got the same card, just different colors. I used Melon Mambo down here and this is Bermuda Bay. I've got Coastal Cabana and Gorgeous Gray. What do you guys think? These are pretty spectacular, right? And of course, you'll see pictures of them sitting up like this too, so that you get the full effect of them. But yeah, super, super fun to make. You saw how easy it was. And again, for those of you that may find this a little intimidating, step outside the box, give it a try. It is just paper. Like if it doesn't work out, <clears throat> no harm, no foul. Hang on, I had a little scratch in my throat. But yeah, super fun, not hard to make. Hang on, I'm trying to put this away for Pete's sakes. I'm trying to put my paper away and it's not cooperating with me. <coughs> and I still have the frog in my throat. A little tickle actually. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Next, oh wait, I have some more things to show you. I forgot about this. Here is another card made with the same suite of products. This was a corner tuck, again, another fun fold. That was made with the glimmer paper 
and the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper that comes in the suite. Here's another one just in different colors. Here is another beautiful card made with this. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And just a different color here. Lots and lots of pretty ideas with this suite. Plus, you guys, there's nine more cards in my online class other than these. So they're different. You'll absolutely love it. I'm sure of that. Okay, let me get these out of the way. And I'm going to clean my stamp here so that I don't get ink all over. Again, you guys, if you don't have a um, cleaner for your stamps, this chamois can be found in my online store. It's S-H-A-M-M-Y. It is the best stamp cleaner ever. I love it. Okay, let me get all of this put away. Oh, I know. I wanted to show you a couple more variations of this, too. So, I told you I was going to show you the super old one that I found. This is the super old center step card that I found in some old cards that I uncovered the other day. And look at this is, you guys remember the stamp set? If you've been with Stampin' Up! for a while, you remember this stamp set. And this embossing folder, so pretty. But this was a center step card from eons ago. And then Lisa, who is one of my team members, let me get this note off of here. She made this beautiful card with the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And isn't that so pretty? I made you a card because you're worth it. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so thank you, Lisa, for such a very pretty card. Oh, and this is what she did on the back of her card. So you could certainly do that on the back of this one, put another layer on there if you wanted to. But aren't these pretty? Yeah, love them. Let me put my note back on here. So I just thought this was so, so pretty. Okay, let's get these put away. And I have another fun fold for you. I think you're gonna love this one too. So what did you guys have for supper? Like I said, I didn't really eat supper. I ate a late lunch. Yesterday I made cinnamon rolls for Molly and Haley was over. So we had cinnamon rolls and oh my gosh, they were so good. We ate all of them. Yeah, I hope Bev's not listening. <laughs> Bev, we ate all of them. They were delicious. Okay, put that put away. Here comes our next card. So this particular card is gonna use the flowers for every season. And I'm excited to be sharing this with you. This is my next online class that I'm going to be releasing in the next day or so, as soon as I get all the coding and stuff together to put it on to my blog. We're going to be using these sunflowers. Put this over here. Celebrate sunflowers. That's my next online class for July. And I have had so much fun with this. I've got a whole bunch of cards to share with you. We're going to make one card and then I'll share all of these other ideas. And then remember, well, I didn't tell you yet, so you can't remember. This online class is going to have eight different cards. No, wait, hang on. I think it has nine cards. No, it's got eight cards. Eight cards cards plus a stationary holder that's going to have eight more cards in it for a note a note cards oh yeah so let me start over oh my lord eight greeting cards and a bonus stationary holder with eight notes and i don't know what that means if they're note cards or note pieces but i think they're note cards um, I was in charge of four cards. This is the class I do with Barb and Dina. I was in charge of four cards. Barb was in charge of four cards. And Dina's doing the stationary holder with the eight notes. And I love how we work together 
to be able to bring these fabulous ideas to you guys. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled program. Let me show you some of the beautiful cards that I have made already with this Celebrate Sunflowers. Isn't that pretty? These are just different colors. That was Bermuda Bay. This is Daffodil Delight. This is Flirty Flamingo. Petal Pink. So you've got four different colors there. This was just for the Pretty in Pink blog hop that I just did. This is ma Magenta Madness. Oh my gosh, I couldn't hardly say it. So Pink Magenta Madness with gold accents. And I used the glimmer paper on here, that rainbow glimmer paper. And these are all gold embossed sunflowers. So tons of great ideas right here. And now I'm going to share another one with you using this. I love it when we have a bundle of product that you can do a ton of things with. That like just makes me happy. So I promised you two fun folds tonight. This is the second one. Let me put my little measurement sheet up there. I've got a scrap of Whisper White. And then we've got a piece of Just Jade. We're going to do some scoring on here. Pizza and salad. I saw somebody just say they had pizza and salad. See, that's what we were going to have today. But then the girls brought over Mexican chicken. It was delicious. Okay, so we're going to take, this is five and a half by five and a quarter. On the five and a quarter inch side, we are going to score at four and a quarter. So this is the four to, or five and a quarter inch side. We're scoring at four and a quarter. And that's all there is to this. So this is a super simple fun fold. I'll also show you the card that I got in the mail that sparked this idea. I think it was made by my team member, Linda Bunce. And Linda, if I'm wrong, please correct me. And if, if, if whoever's watching made the card I'm gonna share when we're done here, please correct me because I lost the name that was with the card. I told Haley that today. I'm like, oh no, I can't find the name. She's like, oh no. I'm like, yeah. So we are going to use the little sunflowers here. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to stamp them three times. I'm using Memento Black ink. There's our three sunflowers. And then I've got a piece of Whisper White here. This is three by three and three quarters. We're gonna bring in our Just Jade ink. And I'm going to stamp from this Celebrate Sunflowers the congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. And again, I love this because it is a very versatile, sentiment that I could send to any of my friends, any of you, my online friends. I could send it to my mom. I could send that to anybody, right? Okay. We're going to do that there. You're going to need a piece of four by five and a quarter inch whisper white. And now I'm going to put in the inside. Thanks a bunch. I could leave this blank for whatever sentiment I needed, but I'm just going to put the thanks a bunch in here. That looks great. Again, I use the Just Jade ink. Let's close that up because we're done with it now. Then I've got two pieces of the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper. So when I was talking about the sampler, the DSP samplers, these are the DSP samplers. You get the Whisper White sheet. You get all of the designer paper except the neutrals, subtles, bolds, and regals. The six by six in those is not included with this whole package, but you do get the new in colors. So, and all the patterns are the same. So what you get is you get this sheet, you get all these one inch circles, and you get, this is one and a half one and a half by three inches, you cut these down the middle. Some of them are two by four, you cut them down the middle, you flip them over and put them on here. This is the sunflowers right here, and this is the other side. Okay, so that's the way I put mine together. I kind of push the two together. So this is one side, that's the other side. This is one side, that's the other side. Okay, 
So we're going to be taking these, where'd my glue go? Right here. And I am going to add a little glue to the back of these one by four inch pieces of designer series paper. We're gonna glue these right over on the very edge of this whisper white layer. And you wanna make sure that you get them, whoops, man, it's trying to get away from me, all the way up to the edge here. And on the other side as well. Oops, I got that kind of crooked too. You can move this around. This is why I love glue. You can move it around if you need to. We're going to take this and we're going to glue it to the inside of our Just Jade. This is actually our card base here. So we're going to put this right in here. Okay. Then we've got a piece of bumblebee, and bumblebee is one of the coordinating colors in here. I'm going to take this. This is four by four. I'm going to lay this right down here. Now, I'm gonna pull it all the way to the bottom, but I'm gonna make sure that it's centered first. Okay, make sure that we've got it centered. That looks really good. And now I'm going to put some glue right up here. Whoops, I just got glue on this piece right over here. You don't want to do that. I want everything to stick together. Okay, so make sure that's even. There we go. So we've got this lined up down here at the bottom. And then we're going to bring this Whisper White layer in. And we're going to put that right on here. And we're just going to make sure that we have the same margin around the top, the bottom, and both sides. So, same margin of bumblebee all around the whole thing, okay? Next, I'm going to take some of my, ooh, we're gonna use, so included in this um, Celebrate Sunflowers online class is, of course, the bundle. Okay, you can get it three ways. If you get the bundle, you get the online class for free and the cardstock pack for free. So this is included in the bumble, in the bundle. The bumblebee ribbon is included. A package of enamel dots is included. The flowers for every season designer series paper. A package of, oh, I thought I had it right here, but a package of our brass um, foil sheet. So you get a whole pack of that plus the Tasteful Textures, where did that go? Hang on. Tasteful Textures embossing folder, or if you already have that folder, you can get a different folder, same price, but this beautiful embossing folder. Hang on, let me open it up here. All of this stuff is included, plus the Flowers for Every Season ribbon combo pack, which is this one. So we're gonna use this cute gingham on this card. Let me set these back over here. Okay. And this is gonna match perfectly. Now I've got another one of these to share with you that uses different designer series paper from this whole pack. So you can see a couple of variations. You guys know I love to do that, right? It's like, it's like always my challenge. It's like, okay, I'll make up one card, but I don't want to make the same card again for you guys when I could show you two different cards. You know, the same layout and everything, just different colors, different patterns. So that's what I did with this too. I used the blue sunflower paper. Isn't this pretty? I love this gingham. It's just so cute. So I'm just going to cut this. And Just a little snip here. Can you hear the kids outside laughing and screaming? Yeah. <laughs> I thought they all went home, but they're still here. Okay, there we go. Okay, here's what we got so far. Now remember these flowers? We are going to, there's a die that cuts these out. This little die right here, you've got lots of dies in here. This little die right here cuts all of these out. So we're gonna take that to our die cutting machine and cut out all these flowers. And of course, you know that I've already done that because I'm magical. 
I'm not magical. <laughs> I just like to say that because it's funny. Okay, then we're going to bring in our Stampin' Blend markers. Okay, I have Mango Melody, Just Jade, and Cinnamon Cider. First thing I'm going to do here is use my Mango Melody Dark, and I'm going to add a little bit of color here. Okay, good. I just wanted to see if I had missed some comments. If, you know, it's hard for me to stamp and keep my wits about me and know what I'm doing. I have enough problems with that without checking um, messages. I'm just not very good at that. So Haley's usually watching and helping out when she can, which is fabulous, right? She's been working with me all summer, and I have to say, it has just been the funnest to have her and Val here every day. And then when Jerry gets done with work, Haley and Val go home. And um, it's just been so nice to have them here. Now I've got the light mango melody. And I'm just going to go around and color in the rest of the petals here. Now you're going to blend this so you, it looks like you got some nice highlights or low lights or whatever you want to call them. Shading. There we go. Shading is probably a better term. Somebody told me one time that if you color and you hear your marker squeaking like this, that means you're pushing too hard. And um, I push too hard because I can always hear my marker squeaking, but it reminds me of those markers that smell really good. You know the ones I'm talking about. They have a really, really strong odor. You may think they don't smell good, but I love the smell of them. You're not supposed to sniff them because it'll probably make you a little goofy, which might be a little bit of my problem. So I don't go around sniffing markers, but if I opened them up and used them, I would sniff them. Just like it stays on ink pad. You guys ever open that up and then go and sniff it? <laughs> it smells really good. You're supposed to use that in a well-ventilated area. Um, this could be a lot of my problems right there, people. This is just Jade Dark. It's a very pretty green color. We're gonna use that on the leaves and then come in and blend just a little bit. And this is the same color that's in that designer series paper, so that's why I chose the Just Jade. And then I'm gonna come in with the Dark Cinnamon Cider and I'm just gonna go around the middle and then the outside here. I really like this color. It's funny, because Haley said at first she didn't like it, but now she loves it. It's just a very rich brown. And I just keep coloring it till it's nicely blended. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how pretty that sunflower is. Now, I did do three of them. So I've got three different sunflowers here. And now we're going to bring in our card that I just lost. Here it is. We're going to bring our card in and we're going to add our sunflowers to the front. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue on two of them. Like this. Like this. I'm going to come in with one of these. Just like this. The other one with the glue on it. This one can pop off the side a little bit. You want to be careful that you don't have this popping off the bottom or it won't fit in an envelope, right? And now we're going to take this one and add some dimension. Hang on, let me get some bigger pieces here. Because this is a little, oops, bigger flower. And there we go. Pokey too. You guys like that little bit of singing I did? Trust me. You do not want to hear me sing. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop that up on dimensionals and bring that one in here. So what do you think of this little beauty? So Dar Dolly's asking why Mango Melody instead of Bumblebee? We do not have Stampin' Blend markers in Bumblebee. Okay? Um, and Stampin' Up! Did, specifically didn't make them in Bumblebee because Mango Melody is so very close with the alcohol markers to what Bumblebee would be that they didn't need to. So you can use this for Mango Melody, you can use it for Bumblebee, you can use it for Crushed Curry. We also don't have Crushed Curry. We've got a lot of yellows. We've got 
the um, this is the daffodil delight yellows. We've got so saffron yellows, and we've got mango melody yellows. So I think Stampin' Up just set, decided that that was enough yellows that they didn't need to make another yellow. We could use what we had, and it does. It matches up beautifully. Let me see if I can get that a little closer. Okay, so we're not quite done yet. Let me put these back because we want to take some of these fabulous little enamel dots and you get all five in colors with these. I happen to have this pack open already. So I'm going to bring this in here. And you've never noticed, who just said they've never noticed the smell of Stazon? Seriously? You sniff that Stazon. No, I shouldn't be telling you to do that because you're really not supposed to smell it. You're supposed to also use it in a well-ventilated area, but if you smell stays on, it smells like almond extract. I kid you not. And anytime I open up a stays on ink pad, I have to sniff it. <laughs> I know that's a little scary. I probably should be sharing that kind of information with you. <laughs> okay, so I just put some of those little enamel dots in the Just Jade on here. And I love, love, love this ribbon. What do you guys think? Oh, so pretty. So I told you that I'd show you another variation of this. So this was the first card that I made. And this one uses um, Moonlight, Misty Moonlight, and the Bumblebee ribbon with the Misty Moonlight enamel dots and the blue designer series paper. So. This card right here used this paper, and then this card right here used this paper right here. So that's where I got that. What do you guys think? Aren't they fun? Yeah, I love these. Lois said she's never smelled stays on either. Well, apparently you guys need to like kick up your heels and sniff some stays on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Please do not go around telling people to sniff stays on. I do not want anybody to get brain damage. <laughs> I did not tell you to sniff the stays on. Just I'm retracting that right now, but I do reserve the right to sniff the stays on if I so choose. I'm a big girl, right? Look at this. This is beautiful blue and white baker's twine with a metallic silver thread in it. You get all three of these plus a roll of bumblebee plus a pack of the in color enamel dots plus a pack of the paper plus a pack of the brass foil sheets plus the stamp set and the dies. All of that you guys for $125 that includes tax and shipping. When you buy that from me, you will then get the online class for free and the pre-cut card stock pack for free for eight greeting cards plus a stationary holder and eight notes. What? Or you can order the class with the card stock if you already have the stamp set and the dies. You can order the class with the card stock for $40. Um, or you can order the PDF only for $25. Now this is not on my blog available yet. I'm hoping to get all of that um, all of the coding and stuff done for it and have it up tomorrow. So watch my Facebook page and I will um, post it on there that, hey, here's the link to the online class if you would like to get it. Or you can just go check out the details, whatever you need to do, right? Love that. Where's my other cards I made? Um, hang on, I gotta find my side steppers. Here they are. Look at how fun are these fun folds tonight? Oh my gosh. And I just kind of pulled those right out of my hiney. <laughs> you know what I did, you guys? So this is what I did. I have a whole bag of cards that I like the idea of them. So these were two of the cards in my bag. I took these and I went, hmm, I wonder if I could use the um, hand-drawn bundle, Artistry Blooms bundle, to make this style of a card. And that's where my idea started. 
Oh, I told you I'd show you this. I think Linda Bunce made this card for me. Do you remember? I got this um, back in like February or March, I believe. I lost the person's name. But that's where I got the idea for this card, you guys. So again, I went into that bag. I dug out these three cards and I went, huh, wonder if I could use this with the sunflower set. And this is how that card came about. I'm really good at doing that. Like, I'm not the best person to create things from scratch. But I'm, I'm, I do have to say that I'm really good at seeing, envisioning something different with something that I really like. I loved this card. Thought this was just so beautiful. And then I modified it so it would work with what I wanted to use tonight. Because I wanted to tell you about my next upcoming class, right? Yeah, so there you go. Now, I have some, don't forget, I always appreciate your orders. You can head right over to my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button right there. Regardless of whether you're watching now on Facebook Live or watching later on YouTube, please share my video. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me to grow my business. I really appreciate it. Also use this code. I appreciate your orders. It's what keeps these free videos coming your way. You can help me break the chain. I've only got two $10,000 chains left and this one's only $500 away from getting broken before I hit my million dollars in career to date sales, which is super duper exciting, right? So. I'm going to show you now some of the birthday cards that I got, and I do have to say that I forgot to go to the bathroom before I came in here. I may or may not have to pee, so I don't know how many birthday cards we're going to look at, but maybe I'll come on and do another live this week if I don't get through many of them, because I can certainly come on Monday, Tuesday, whatever, and start showing you some of the cards I got, right? So, here we go. This was a whole big bundle of goodies that I got from Erline Lindbergh. I'm pretty sure I saw Erline watching tonight. Look at how cute this is. Happy birthday, Kelly. And she's got my name on some Hershey nuggets. How sweet is that? And then she gave me some little mini blue dots, which was really sweet this crazy crazy card that she left blank that i can use with a great big square envelope i thought that was super sweet um she gave me a fun little joke here and this was really cool this is um back in 1965 it's kind of like things out of a newspaper and some of the top films and popular books because i was born in 1965 right you guys know that i just turned 55 right yeah and I'm feeling great. I'm not afraid to get older. Well, I don't really like all the things that go with it, but one of them is life, and I like that a lot. I'm good with living. Oh, and a couple thank you cards that I can use. I love these, they're just beautiful. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Erlene. That was just so very sweet of you. Let's see, what else can I bring in here? I just got, oh, I think, now some of the stuff, you guys, I just opened it and took it out. Somebody, let's see, who is this? This is Claudia. I think Claudia sent me these goodies. Let me see. I think this is from Claudia. Look at this beautiful, beautiful card. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this vintage, old shabby chic look. It's very gorgeous. And then I got Brownie brittle, dark chocolate with sea salt. I can't wait to try these. They look delicious and they're gluten free. I don't, I'm not a gluten free person, but I do eat some stuff that's gluten free. Well, I mean, we all do, but I bought gluten free bread before and it was delicious. I loved it and then I couldn't find it anymore. So yeah, that happens. Okay, next up. Here is happy anniversary card. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, and this is from Terry Mullinex. Beautiful little anniversary card. And then I got this. Look at how cool this is. This is for my birthday. 
look at this cool thing. This is one of our stamp cases. And then these are little, this is a little rubber thing with holes in it and all of the colors and a set, two sets of sponge daubers. And this also was from Terry. And she says, happy belated birthday. Oh my gosh, super, super, super cute. Look at how pretty this card is. The card got kind of squished. Put it back together here. Look at how pretty that card is. Absolutely gorgeous. You are so sweet, Terry. Thank you so very much. Okay, I gotta keep all this stuff together here. Let me put this back over here and over here. Steve also, I showed him the anniversary card. He loved it. What else do I have in here? Oh, here's a great big card I got from Karen Nevin. Look at how beautiful this is. One year older means one year better. You know it, Karen, right? Double nickels, baby. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous card. Here comes another one. Um, oh, these are swap cards. I'll show you those later when I'm showing swap cards. Let's see. Here comes another giant card. This is from Mary Lynn Cox. And it says, age is merely the number of years the world has been enjoying you. And she said she saw this card and thought of me. So how sweet is that? Right? I thought this was just hysterical. All right, next. Here we go. This is from Lydia Wacker. Look at how pretty that is. Lydia, this is absolutely beautiful. I did open these all and read all the notes in them. So thank you guys. That's why I said I just felt so loved today as I was going through all these cards and reading them. This is a happy anniversary card from Luba. Thank you so much, Luba. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Oh, and then my mom sent me this birthday card. Funny thing, I made it. <laughs> I always give my mom tons of cards for um, all kinds of gift. Mother's Day, Grandparents' Day, Christmas, or birthday. I just give her tons of cards. And so she gave me this beautiful birthday card that I designed. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> and then we have this one from Kathy Larson. It says, six feet apart, but still in my heart. Isn't that sweet? I love this. Another beautiful birthday card. This one is from Susie Fondue. I think it's Fondue. Yes. Look at how cute those meerkats. 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020. Happy birthday. Look at, they all have little masks on. Is that not hysterical? But that was so funny. And here comes another one. This one is from Tammy Litsky. Look how pretty this is. I loved this die, right? Absolutely beautiful. Denise, my friend Denise sent me this one. Look at this is like cork. It feels like cork too. It's really cool. Cork paper in here. The strip that's underneath the dream catcher. Very, very pretty. And this one is from Ruth Jarda. Oh my goodness, look how cool this is. It's got a pocket celebrating another year of happiness. And another pocket, oops, hang on. Oops, it's stuck on something. Eh, don't be stuck on something. This, oh, it's got stuck on the sequence. This calls for confetti. And then another little pocket where she wrote on it, wishing me much happiness. She is so happy to be on my team and I am so very happy to have you Ruth thank you so much okay you guys this this girl has to go tinkle I will I've got lots more cards to share with you like I said I'm gonna flip you around now maybe I will come on live one day this week because I've got a ton more cards to share with you and I just think it would be kind of funny to um, check in and show you the rest of these, right? Thank you, Chris. I'm glad you like seeing my mail. I love getting my mail. Like my husband was like, he came in yesterday was Saturday. He came in yesterday after getting in the mail and he goes, you know what? Your birthday's over. <laughs> and my birthday was just on Tuesday, right? He goes, your birthday's over. These cards need to stop. <laughs> it was so funny. He was jealous. 
All right, you guys, if you had any questions that I missed, please feel free to um, ask them now. I will check back later onto my Facebook page to see if I missed anything. If you need to get in touch with me, leaving a message on my Facebook page isn't the best place if you need an answer. You can email me at kelly at stampabove.com. Don't forget about bonus days. Um, for every $50 you spend right now, you get a $5 coupon to spend in August. That's exciting. The online classes, I've got Nothing's Better Than Kit class. That's $49. You can also add on the stamp set in the dies for an additional, I think, $56. I've also got the Artistry Blooms online class. I'm going to be getting that cut up, hopefully start that tomorrow and get that out in the mail early this week. And the Celebrate Sunflowers, which is coming. It's not posted yet. The rest of these you can find on my blog in the online class button in the right hand column thank you guys so much for joining me tonight i love stamping with you i appreciate you more than you can ever know click on that share button that really helps me grow my business click on that like button that helps me in the analytics on facebook if you're watching later on youtube please leave a comment give me a thumbs up click on that bell so you get notifications when i have new videos coming out Guys, have yourselves a wonderful week. I should have a great tip video for you on Wednesday on my blog. Watch for that. And also, you're going to find all of the dimensions for the center step card and photos on my blog by tomorrow. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to promise by tomorrow. All right, you guys, have a great Sunday night. Bye-bye.